hello it's Sarah and I'm working on this little box that I'm gonna uh, make a mixed media mosaic well a small I'm probably gonna just put a little um, art doll on here anyway I was gonna try I found my embossing pen this is the Versamark watermark pen and it's basically I haven't used it in forever so I'm hoping it'll work but it has a thick end and a thin end and it's basically this ink that you use to emboss so first before I do that I wanted to stamp on here so I'm gonna make sure this is dry which I should have done before because I just um, see how you can see the shine on this side wasn't um, ready yet I've already given this a coat of gesso to seal it. I painted the inside gold and I painted the outside with, I think it's called Mendicino. One coat because I liked the way it looked a little blotchy and so. I think what I'm gonna do is just use black ink so I'm going to use archival and this stamp which is just a hero arts um, script stamp and I'm going to try and keep it below this line so right there we'll see how it goes um, I kind of want to hold it like this because my hand fits better and then I'm gonna go like that I didn't get enough ink on the bottom that stinks because I'm thinking I'm gonna paint those blocks black anyway that's okay I have three more sides to get it right I'm just eyeballing it so I'm at a weird angle that's I came out much better and I'm gonna make sure this is dry before I use the embossing pen for sure because and I'm also gonna remember to use my embossing buddy which is like a little um baggy of oh wow now I'm really overdoing it right I'm overcompensating. I'm just getting really dark. It's okay. Because I'm also thinking about um, using some um, light pink um, pearl paint as well to brighten it up. All right, but I'm going to try it. And you know what? What the worst thing that can happen is I will wipe it all off. But let me dry this. Kirby, I mean Kiwi's with me. She gets a little nervous when I um, turn on the heat gun. never done this before so I'm hoping it's gonna work so I'm gonna use gold I think yeah I'm gonna use gold embossing powder I'm just grabbing a piece of scrap paper oh this isn't exactly scrap it'll work though um and I'm gonna get my embossing buddy that's what this is this is just got like some type of powder inside of it so I'm gonna rub it with that I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to use the smaller end of this and hope for the best just gonna line it up actually I'm gonna do this one first because then I won't pull off the ink 
and then we'll do this one and I'm just gonna do two now I'd rather do all of them but let's I, I'm gonna be covering it with my ruler that's the only problem uh, I've never done it before so let's just go for it try not to put it down on the ink all right let's go for it we'll see what happens And this gold does not look the, the color that it is. When you emboss it, it comes out much lighter and prettier. Oh, I think it did it. I'm so excited. All right, wait. I don't want to spill or make a big mess, but I'm really, really, really excited to do this. All right, Kiwi, hold on to your hat, sister. Hold on. I want to put the cap on the pen, too, so I don't... OMG. That's a huge success. Huge success. Oh my goodness. Wow. So I'm just going to go all the way around this box in that way. And then I think, see what I should do though? I think I'm going to do something before I do that. I am going to... Sorry, just putting my embossing powder away. Before I do that, I want to, I'm going to use some pearl, let's see, I think white pearl. I have pink pearl too, I just don't know if it's out on my desk at the moment. Because I moved a lot of my paints down to the basement. Uh, I don't, I don't have it. So, what I think I'm going to do is just try it with this. And I'm going to do it in um, my shading technique that I used. Oops, a lot, a lot of paint. I'm going to grab my angle brush and my filthy dirty water. Which way should I go? I wonder if I need it. Just do it on all the left sides. I don't know. I was saying in the last video, um, I really don't know what I'm going to do until I do it. It's just kind of whatever comes into my head. And it's all based on things I've seen um, by Lori or anything really. Anything that can inspire you or just a technique that I've used before. And I just want to try it on this and see what it looks like. And then it's kind of hit and miss. And if you don't like it, you just take it off. But I do like the pearlescent so let's see if I can do it on here it's just easier to do all the painting before I emboss so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'll, I'll finish because I think oops see I just painted right over the embossing which is fine sound like Maya's choking up there maybe I'll do not really choking because I wouldn't stay here if I was if she was choking, really. Um, hmm. I was debating painting this black, and I kind of really think I want to. Hmm. <laughs> and do I want to do both sides? I could shade one side. Hmm. I'm going to paint. 
a rectangle, I'm sorry, a triangle black and see what I think. Let me shake it first. It's not working. I don't know what's going on with me, but like I feel so self-conscious now all of a sudden on camera where I'm generally, oops, very kind of couldn't care less type thing like well I, I care I care but I think I'm just caring a little too much can't explain it all right let me get a small flat brush hopefully this one's not too beat up I think it's gonna be okay and I'm gonna go You know it would be really super easy if I put a piece of, I'm going to do it, I'm going to put a piece of um, washi along the top around the whole box because then I can just pull the washi off and, and have a nice straight line up there. But yeah, I think that's going to look so cool. Sorry if I wasn't in the shot. All right, so I'll come back when that's all done. I'll be right back. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm all over the place tonight. I have, I should have put that paint back, but I really don't care. Um, <laughs> I finished painting the black. So here's, and, and then I did do, um, which it's so bright. Maybe that was a mistake. But I ended up putting the pearl on all of the light pink places. So let's do, I'm going to do um, around the edge. I'm going to emboss. Um, I'll show you one more time. But I think I'm going to do it here too. So I'm going to go around. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. I want to put a line there too. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just holding the ruler at the edge of the black. I didn't even rub the, um, rub it with this. Isn't that cool though how look how dark the powder is but then when you emboss it it's like this beautiful gold color trying not to blow all that off my desk so that's why I'm kind of holding it I like it ooh I like it. I like it a lot. It just looks like it's so finished. So I'm going to go around the whole thing and it's going to look like that. I'm going to put feet on it and I don't know what I'm going to put around here. And I could do something very similar with this plaque, but I really can't picture it. I mean, I could just make the um, Harlequin pattern, but I, I don't know. I'm going to wait on that. All right, you guys, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, it is done. I love the way the embossing looks. It's such a, it's different. I haven't done that this way before. Um, not positive how I'll finish this off. I do think I want to add legs. So see here's another one that I did with these bigger legs. Now you just buy these in the wood department at the craft store and you glue them on. I use like E6000. And see here I did the lines similarly 
I did the stamping. So here, basically, it's the similar design, but I embossed this one. This one, I think it's gel pen um, or paint, but I think, I want to say it's gel pen, and then I put stickles in the middle. And I'm thinking I might put little gems, like I could glue, because stickles, I mean, it depends. I could put them... I don't know because embossing does have a um, a little three dimensionality to it. Anyway, but see how I did this um, the edge of this lid. I just painted a little swirl and I put stickles again. I think that's stickles. It could be just dimensional magic paint or something. Not dimensional magic, but <clears throat> and then this one. This is what I was thinking of doing. Just adding a like a. A bling chain of some type around the edge because that's just really all you need it just makes it look so pretty um, finishes it off so see here's a box I put just little square feet on these are little squares and then I put a gem on each side of the squares and I put the the bling around the edge so I'm not sure I I can't find I have a bunch of different little wooden pieces that I can use for feet um, I think, oh, see, here's another. I had, I found this in the drawer. This one was already prepped. Um, well, I just did the black and gold. So I didn't know. It's just ready to go for whatever theme I choose. So I may do this one while I'm at it. Um, not sure what I'll come up with. Just seems like there's a little glue on there. But see, these little feet, they're kind of more of like a, just a turned shorter one so there's three different kind here's no feet and then these are little square feet and then these are this is the tallest one of all and then this is the little piece so I'm probably going to be doing similar to this only I will just put the wing on top of a piece which I kind of like how I filled this in <clears throat> but I think I'm going to try and do it just as a whole rectangular piece with the wings um, for this little guy or this little guy, this little guy I should say. <clears throat> so that's it for now. I will be back with, I'm um, going to start to make the pieces to create this little, um, this could be like a little shrine box or something. Um, and who knows, I may even change the, some of the colors. This looks a little red to me. I don't know. I, I was hoping it would look more pink. And I think it does. See, I was trying to go for something like this, the fuchsia. So I might tone it down a little. We'll see. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.